Hi, this is Troy, and welcome to Audi Driving. Today I'm at the Mercedes dealership in Medford. I'm going to show you this 2022 Audi Q5. It's the premium variant. First, I'm going to pop the engine hood. Right here, this is a Carbide 2.04 silver turbo. And this is your radiator coolant. Right here, there's your generator. Oil filter right here. This will easily pop off to get access to the oil filter. It takes 5.5 quarts of AMS oil, 020 weight. Do not use 530 or 540 unless 020 is not available. And here is your brake fluid reservoir right here. There's no dipstick here to check the oil on any Audi models except the 3 Series and the TT. And there's your jump start thing right here. This is the start. Here's your winter wiper plug. There's your air filter right here. You can check if there's no leakies in the oil there isn't. Now I'm going to go to the back. You and there, there's your, there's your climate control for the back seat for the back seat passengers, right here. That's up and that's down. There's your shell, cell phone charger port. And there, there's your you stow your seats down for extra cargo space, right here. Tail gate eight opens by itself. And there's your hideaway space right here. There's your it's optional on the premium plus and the prestige variants. Your switch to lower raise and lower the suspension to get heavy objects in there. There's your levels to store to stow the seats to get extra cargo space. And there's your spare tire compartment. And your, normally your battery is located under here. When you close this, this button right here, make sure everybody and objects are clear. If they're in the way, this will go back up automatically. Press this. Never attempt to pull on this. It'll ruin the mechanism very easy. Now start to drive. And you can sit in the back seat in the middle part. How do you shut the radio off? Yep. So I'll interfere with the episode. Mm -hmm. And there's your touchscreen infotainment system. 2019 was the last year had the dial on here to control the infotainment. Press home. Get your main menu. There's your press to check the oil. Vehicle right here. Parking it. Hey. So, yo. In, so, it will beep without hitting any of the objects in case I get too close so I don't have to do an instant report. And you've got climate controls right here. Driver's side and one for the passenger side and one for the back seat. Here's your seat warmers right here. That's high, medium, and low. I my seat warmer on low because it's relaxing. <laughs> Lower the steering wheel on there. And you get your heated steering wheel feature. Right here. And go to view cockpit dash. These RPM gauge and spiral go smaller. And it'll get you full detail. There's your map right there. There's the main menu. And go to settings right there. System maintenance right there. You got connect devices for your Wi-Fi. 
две косарницы. Это Be warning. Right there. In case you're going 10 miles over speed limit, it will beep, so I'll get speedy tickets. Right there. You might see a little bit further. You got automatic high beams. Come on at night and you press the view button to get the speedometer RPM gauge bigger. You see the gas gauge right there in the RPM gauge center. 2019 models and older will have the gas gauge and the temperature in there. Ready for the drive. Yes, and your parking brake. Pull this to engage it and push it down to disengage. This is nice and comfortable. A lot better than American cars. No stops. Turn on the stop sign. Yep. We'll take a right from here. And a left. Yep. But we'll actually keep taking a right. We'll do one big loop. One big loop. Okay. This is one of my favorite models. And also the Q8. Make a loop. Mm -hmm. On Crater Lake Avenue, mm -hmm. the Bay Area is way different. has a lot of power for being a four-cylinder turbo. The gas mileage on here is 24 City and 29 Highway. And then you'll take a right up here on Owen Drive. Okay. And 26 combined. Average. It's pretty good for a mini SUV. This is the mid-scale. Q7, Q8 is the upscale and Q3 is the low scale. Make sure I watch for cops. <laughs> Don't want to get any speedy tickets. Make a loop. Yep. And you're going to take it right up here on Springbrook Drive. Springbrook Drive, turn right. We got half a tank of gas. I like having the RPM gauge and speedometer in a big view. It's easier for me to read. You see the auto high beams up on the dash. It'll tell you at night. It'll automatically come on if there's no vehicles around. They'll automatically adjust if there's any vehicles in front or, or coming towards me. You make move. Comfort mode. To make it quieter, and dynamic mode will make the exhaust pipes a little bit louder. Right to slight. Yep, you're gonna take a right to slight. Pedal shift mode right now, when it gets between the three and the four, shift up. If you go anything over five or five and a half, you'll burn out the motor. The red line in the RPM gauge is six and a half. Back to auto mode. Pal ship 
most is normally for hills and when it open country roads. This don't wear out the paddle shifters in heavy traffic. This is a nice fancy dash. There's a feature, it'll shut off the idling when I'm out of red light. Salt, waste, gas, and heavy traffic. Got 200 miles until empty with barely under half a tank. There's your adaptive cruise control. Because this will automatically slow down, prevent from tailgating. This is your panoramic sunroof right there. Right here. I love this car. I want this for my birthday. It's August 27th. Wink, I'll take pictures of this. Wink after concluding this episode. This is the best episode i ever done. Where should I park? You can park it right where you took it from, just in the middle of the lot up there. Where it originally goes. Yeah, it's alright. You can put it right in the middle of the lot so you can continue to walk around if you'd like to. Yes, I do. When you put the transmission in reverse, it'll, when I turn the steering wheel, these lines will guide, automatically guide me without hitting another vehicle. Mm -hmm. if, if we did do an incident report. Yeah. To put the transmission apart, you see this P right there? And it automatically unlocks the doors. And you got a panoramic sunroof. It opens up the shade. And, and opens up. It reaches all the way to the back seat. Mm -hmm. It's really nice and wide. Closes. Press and hold. It'll close by itself. Mm. It'll close the shade. It'll do it by itself. Press On things of service. Check the oil. Level right there. It has to be shot for two minutes. It has to be warm and level on a flat surface, but not on a hill. Because you get a false rating if it's on a hill. And that will conclude this episode of Audi Driving. I'll see you next time.